Hey YouTube, today we're going to try something different on our channel. We're going to be doing product reviews and we're going to be reviewing child safety locks. The reason for that is because I had such a hard time finding the right one. There were so many different models and I ended up buying so many more than I needed. So I would like you guys to have a better experience. I'm going to go through the pros and cons of each of the models that I've bought. I'm going to add the links to the products uh, on the description. It might not be the exact product, but it's going to be something that at least follows the same principles, has the same materials, so that you guys can probably find the right one straight away for your needs. And let's get to it. So just before we start, I wanted to tell you that we won't be reviewing sliding locks or rope locks uh, for two reasons. One, my furniture doesn't have handles. And the second one is because they don't look good. And I don't think they're very practical. Like most of the time you're gonna be opening these locks with one hand. Uh, and it's very hard to do that with rope locks or sliding locks. And uh, the reviewing process, we're going to start with uh, hard locks, then we're going to move to softer locks, and then we're going to go to adjustable locks. And then at the end, we're going to have a comparison between all the models. So now, let's get to it. The hard options are usually the safest and stronger options, because there's like nothing flexible in the structure. They have different opening mechanisms, so this one you have to pull and slide, very complicated for a kid to figure this out, so this is a very safe option. Sometimes they have a button, which is much easier for a kid to figure out, so I would say that this option uh, beats the one with the button. This one has a slight disadvantage, so it's very good if you're gonna open this like this. But the problem I have is that the second door on this cabinet opens to the side. So every time I have to open this door, I have to open this lock as well. So if you're talking about just a two door cabinet that's just gonna be opening like this, then definitely this is a good option, very safe, very strong. But if you have multiple doors that open different sides, just be careful, choose an option that has a softer bend in the middle. So this hard option here is one of the most elegant. The reason I'm showing you before I actually apply it to the furniture, it's because you really have to make sure you put it the right way. I have made the mistake twice to put it like this. I wasn't paying too much attention and then I couldn't open the drawer. This option here only works with drawers. You cannot use it with uh, cabinets, but it's one of the most elegant and safest because it's really hard for the kid to hold on to this, even though it's super easy to open you know, with one hand. So I'm gonna apply it to the furniture and show you how it works. Now you can see it applied to the furniture. It doesn't take too much space and that's one of the reasons it's a really good option. Like there's nowhere for the kid to hold on to. Super easy to open. You just press the button and when you close it, you simply just close the drawer. Uh, the reason it doesn't work with cabinets um, is because the doors usually open with an angle and then the lock won't match the other side of the lock here. It's super easy, good option. So this is the softer and I would say cheapest option you have. This only works in corners because it prevents the toddler or the child from opening drawers and cabinets. You cannot use it, you know, on a straight surface. This one is very, very practical, as you can see. So you can definitely use it with one hand. However, this one only works for kids until they develop some grip. Like my daughter now is strong enough to open this and open the, the drawer. So I would definitely recommend this in higher places, places that your baby cannot reach because in terms of um, aesthetics, this is definitely one of the best options, almost invisible, looks great, doesn't take any space, uh, and it's very easy to, to use as any Velcro. So the first model is something in between the hard option and the softer options. This one has a soft bend in the middle, but it's not adjustable. The, Distance is always fixed. Very simple to apply to the furniture and to the cabinet. It's very practical, you can open from both sides. So you can open and close here, open and close here. Very, very practical. The only disadvantage is uh, as your kid gets bigger, this band here might not be able to hold the pressure. So if your kid's trying to open this, it probably won't hold. Very good for smaller babies or for places that they can't reach. So if they're opening the, the cabinet from, you know, 
the sides, it's very good lock. But uh, if your kit can reach this, probably not the best option to go. So this is another option um, with the soft part in the middle, but not adjustable. So the distance here is sort of fixed. This is the maximum you can go. You can make this shorter. This band is going to be a little loose in the middle, but it's going to work just fine. This is also a very, very complicated thing for the kids to figure out. So they have to open like this and remove in order to open the cabinet. This one is also not so practical. You see that it's not so easy to close it again. But once it's locked, it's very safe. I've seen my, my kid hanging on this. Super strong, holds really well, and it's almost invisible into the furniture. So definitely a good option if you come across one of those that has one side as a lock plus a flexible band. Definitely a good option to consider. Even though this option is really good for cabinets, if you're talking about drawers, I would recommend something else because the soft material is quite strong, but it's flexible enough to give access to the inside of the drawers. So if you have sharp objects or tools, this might be dangerous for your baby. In this case, definitely go with a hard option or if you're using an adjustable one, keep it very, very, very tight and short to give no access to the insides of your drawer. So now we're talking about the soft adjustable ones. Uh, those are great because you can control the distance between the two parts. You can use it in corners. Very, very, very strong, very resistant. Plus they're very elegant. This specific model has a lock which is not easy to open with one hand. So if you, one of your hands is busy, probably not the best type. But it's also good because the kids have a hard time figuring out how to open this lock. As you can see, it's very easy to close. Uh, might be a little complicated to open with one hand, but it's definitely one of the best options around. So this model is pretty similar to the previous one I've showed. It's got the adjustable band, very strong as well. The difference between this one and the previous one is just the opening mechanism. So the previous one was a little harder. Looks better on the furniture, but it's a little more complicated to open. This one you just press these two buttons and it's open so you have access to your cabinet. And to close, you just press it and it's done. I would say in terms of um, practicality and looks, this is probably the best option. Plus you can find different colors of buttons and uh, attachments. So just search for it and find the one you like the most. Here's a summary of the pros and cons of each model. If you'd like to use this as a reference guide, you can download the PDF from the link in the video description. Hey YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If there's a product you'd like me to review, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now. If you have, thank you very much. I hope to see you next time.